morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the news. How's it going, guys? So today is going to be my first YouTube video that I have ever done. I mean, I've done some BMX videos in the past, but uh, yeah, so today's going to be my first car related uh, YouTube video. Um, I'm going to do my own page, uh, Power Racing. I thought it'd be really cool to just make a couple videos here and there and probably do like maybe like one video a week. Um, right now. I'm in the works of like getting my car and getting it ready for uh, competition this year. So I thought it'd be cool to bring you guys along for the ride today. I'm gonna go pick up my car um, at my uh, shop out here in New York uh, that I rent with a couple of my buddies. And we're gonna take it over to my friend Gary's uh, shop that he has because we're teaming up this year and he's gonna be a part of my crew, um, which I'm super grateful about because he's super knowledgeable and like knows his stuff and he's been helping me like here and there every time I'm at the track having an issue. And uh, he said that he wouldn't mind, you know, helping me out and uh, getting the car ready for the season and coming to races with me. Uh, same thing goes for my buddy Mikey Walsh. Um, he's another cool dude, Shredder at Club Loose. Um, he also said that he wanted to come through and come to events and help me get the car ready uh, whenever he can, whenever he's not too busy with work, so that's super cool. Um, they share a garage, so that's where we're gonna go to today. Um, but once we get there, I figured like I'll show you guys around the car, uh, show you what's like all the components, the cool stuff, things I don't like about it. Uh, the car's super dirty right now, but I'm kind of okay with that because once I get the car all cleaned up and like refreshed for the new season, it's just gonna make me more happy seeing it all put together and like looking really good. So I don't really mind that, but um, yeah. So right now we're just driving out to my shop. Uh, it's about like 40 minutes from my house. So got the trailer hooked up to my truck and we're gonna go get some diesel and then we'll be on our way. Hell yeah. You know, I always hate this about New York. They don't let you put that. It's Mr. Water, get back in there. Ah, tarmac. So this is where I've been keeping my car for like, uh, I mean actually ever since I started drifting. So probably going on like three years now. Sick. Whoa. So this is tarmac. This is where my car has been for a while. And here she is. <laughs> you turd. This is my dirty car. Uh, I'm not really gonna show you guys much right now, but for those who don't know, this is my car. All right, gonna get these cars moved and then uh, get this dirty thing in the trailer. So, I already done goofed. Um, so, this beautiful Porsche that Audrey has here. Magnificent car. Um, Autry is always uh, super thoughtful and puts the key for the car so I can always move it to get my car out, which is back there. Uh, so, uh, you saw the trunk open before when I walked in. And uh, yeah, so I closed that. But Autry was nice enough to leave the key for me, but unfortunately I failed to notice that it was in this trunk on top of the battery that he was charging. And I shut it, and the car's locked, and I can't open the hood. 
because the car is locked. So, I'm stranded. I called Audrey and he's coming to unlock the car. <laughs> Only me. Why is this happening to me? Let's, let's look at his car though. Damn. Damn, he's got the blue caliper boys on there. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I might as well show you some cool stuff around here. So this is Autry's other Porsche. Uh, I'm not too sure what model it is, but one of them pretty iconic, cool, racy looking Porsches. Um, he went ahead and uh, put a motor in there that I'm sure would make a couple uh, purists upset yeah uh, this is Ziad's car and it is sweet I think I popped the hood on it let's see oop 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 damn ITBs yeah this thing's sweet sounds awesome uh, there we go cool there was no keys in there so you know I did a good job Audrey's here Thanks, pal. Yay, now we can get my shit box out. Alright, so the car's all loaded up, strapped in, ready to go. Next stop, we're going to Jersey. house that he's building and he's got this nice detached garage and this is where the car is gonna be so uh, gonna get it unhooked from the trailer yeah 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 there we go so this is where the car is gonna be this is Gary's nice garage that he has set up. I'm gonna get this uh, car in here and then uh, probably do the car check. And then I'm gonna get it on the jack stands and start taking some stuff off of it. Maybe do a little time lapse, we'll see. So here she is in all her glory. 
in all her filth. <laughs> uh, I went off track uh, last time I drove it and it was basically a mud pit that I went through. So there's literally just like dirt everywhere. You can zoom in here a little bit. I'll give you a quick run through of the car. Show you what it's all about. Let's start at the back. First, we got a radium fuel cell with, uh, these are actually really awesome because it has everything you need just in the tank. So you got uh, two fuel pumps, you got a lift pump, and you got a, a feed pump. Uh, so you got a surge tank in there so that you never gotta worry about um, starvation or like tank slosh, uh, things along those lines. So that's really awesome. Um, that's like one of my favorite components in the car. And then we have um, the CSF uh, radiator in the back with a uh, custom water neck on it. This was done by uh, Freedom when the car was over there. Got two dual uh, spal fans. They do really good keeping the car cool. Um, was running into a little bit of heat issue. Just had to slow down uh, the flow through the radiator so that it actually efficiently cools everything. The whole back of the car is all cut up and tubed out. So we got a nice bash bar back here and all that. Um, all that work was done by Freedom as well. Definitely did a killer job. Um, more stuff in the back. We have the WiseFab kit in the rear. Works really well. Super lightweight. Um, the metal kind of seems like it would be not too strong, but the idea around that is they want it to crush in case of a, uh, an accident where if I were to slide into a wall, those parts kind of soak up the hit instead of my chassis getting ruined or bent out of shape, you know? So we got all that, that stuff's really cool. Uh, four inch oval exhaust, and we got the winner's quick change. This is like a key ticket item for having an easy time during competition and new tracks. So let's say if you wanted to change your uh, final drive in the dif differential, you literally pop that cap off and just slide out the two gears that are sitting right behind it and you can change your gear set within like five to 10 minutes if you're good at it, five minutes. Um, I'm an idiot and I broke one of the studs off, so mine's custom. I can take mine off even faster because there's only five bolts, but I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> going into the interior here, all this stuff is gonna be changing this off season, but I'll figure I'll give you a little tour anyways. So right now we got two uh, Bride uh, Japan seats. They're very comfy, got carbon backs on them. Uh, I've had these seats ever since I started drifting. Um, they will be coming out of this car this winter, but they're gonna be going into my other car. So, for the transmission, there's an Andrews dog box. So, it it's mostly common in cir circle track cars, like NASCAR and stuff like that. There's only four gears. Um, they're super easy to work with. Um, really, like all the parts are always available and you can fix it on the spot at the track just in case you break something. Um, have a solid steering shaft. It kind of just gets rid of a lot of clutter and it's super simple. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna change it uh, to a um, collapsible column just so I feel a little bit more safe just in case I got into a wreck. Got the Willwood pedals down there. Uh, street, street Faction, if I'm correct, uh, these are their floor panels. They uh, keep your feet from getting super hot while on the track. Got our nice cage in here, nice and safe. Got the flat, flock dash, flat flock dash pretty simple definitely gonna change a couple things in here over the winter so I'll keep you posted on that so I know that I said I was gonna do a car check um, I mean I can still go over a bunch of the parts that are on my car that like the big ticket items um, but the battery died on the camera and uh, had a lot of time on my hands so most of the car is actually taken apart. <laughs> but, um, I don't see it to be a problem. For my front steering setup, I'm running the WiseFab V2 kit. I like it pretty, like, I like it a decent amount. It's definitely a large learning curve, learning how to drive with so much angle and the characteristics of how it drives. 
and also uh, setting it up and making it how you like it. Um, but it does pretty good. Definitely good for competition stuff. A lot of people run Wisefab, so. Got the Willwood calipers and rotors on there. Drilled and slotted, these stop on a dime. Running the Willwoods in the back too. Uh, just the drilled rotors, got two of the Willwood calipers back here. Locks up super easy with the Hydro that I got over there. Let's at least show you the motor. I'll show you the motor. So this is the 2J. So this is my uh, BBTI uh, 2JZ. Full valve train work. Um, it's got uh, 272 cams. The motor is still stock for the bottom end. I figured they're known to handle a lot of power. So I figured if I just kept that, uh, pushed about like five, 600 horsepower, it wouldn't be too bad. So at least the head work is done. So high RPMs can handle that. It makes top end power can handle that. Um, got this sweet, and when I say sweet, I mean sweet uh, brand new Garrett GTX 35. 84 RS. This turbo just wants to make power. So making about five to 600 horsepower, that was nothing for it. It literally wanted more. This wants to be a thousand horsepower turbo. I did buy a new bottom end for this motor that I'm gonna slap together. So probably make a little bit more power with that, but I mean, not like a thousand horsepower but it would be fun to see if it could do it on a dyno. So hopefully in the future we'll do that. The Plasma Man intake manifold. This is just totally sweet. The whole thing is billet, all the runners and stuff like that, if they are called runners. I'm not too sure. But yeah, all CNC'd. Uh, came with the awesome fuel rail, super sweet throttle body. Uh, the awesome clamps that make it super easy to get on and off, especially if you're at the track. My whole setup's like that. The turbo, the intercooler's like that, the whole thing. If I wanted to take it apart at the track, maybe fix something, I just try to make it as easy as possible. There's still some things that I could do to make it easier to work on at the track, so that's what we're gonna focus on this off season and hopefully make this car super easy to service. And just in case if anything bad were to happen during a round or at the track, it's easy to fix. So that's, that's the goal for this winter and to just clean up the whole car. Cause as you can see, it is just super dirty. There's even dirt on my ceiling. My girlfriend, Steph, love her. She cleaned the ceiling and cleaned off my seats at the track when we went through. I was super pissed off. I was really pissed that I went through the mud because it just got on everything. And like, I love when my car is super clean and it is not clean at all. So, so I'm just gonna continue to rip this thing apart and we'll go from there. Maybe I have some else, some other stuff to show you. I'm not too sure, but we're just gonna go ahead and take it one step at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and probably just start taking more stuff out of the interior here. I wanna take the dash out and then get most of the wiring and all that stuff cleaned up maybe out of the car so gonna go ahead and do that probably do like a little time lapse so enjoy
So I'm pretty sure that we're gonna call it a night and I mean, I got a lot of stuff done. I got all the wiring that I didn't like out of the car. Pretty much got almost a ver like a bare interior going on here, except for all the drivetrain stuff is still in there. But I removed all the wiring. Uh, all the panels are off now. And you can see it's old blue color along with a huge dent that we're gonna have to fix. Gary was nice enough to make me a wall so that I could put all my shit up in here and then he cleared me over a spot. And then I got some dollies so we could push my car over here. Gary's hiding because he said he doesn't look pretty. This is Gary. Gary's letting me use his garage this winter. He's gonna help me build a cool race car. Even though it's already built, we're just gonna make it cooler. Make it yep, we're gonna make it better. And we're gonna go fast, and we're gonna win races. Yup. Probably gonna close out this video now. Um, I mean, hopefully I got enough stuff to show you guys, but until next time, I guess. If you have any questions, you ever want me to show you stuff about the car or have any questions about the car or drifting or anything about me in general, you could always just hit me up or follow up with me on Instagram. I have my email up there, all that stuff. Um, so, I mean, this is my first video, so I'm not sure if a bunch of people will watch it or a bunch of people are gonna wanna watch another video, but if you wanna be one of the first to say like, oh, I was with Mike when he did his first YouTube video and I've been watching him ever since. I mean, you could subscribe to the channel, stuff like that. I mean, I don't wanna sound lame, but that's how you gotta do it, right? <laughs> subscribe. Oh, you can see my nose. So I just want to take the time really quick. I'm at a truck stop about to get something to eat before I uh, hit the road all the way back to New York. Uh, just want to say thanks for watching the video and I really hope you liked it. Um, I definitely have a lot to learn with the whole video uh, YouTube aspect of what I do and how to edit it and how to make a proper storyline, stuff like that. But um, yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, I know that, that the content is just going to get better and better every time. So. I hope you guys are willing to stick around. I do plan on doing a, almost like a build thread uh, series of all the work that goes into the car over the off season. So you get to see what I'm doing and what the team <clears throat> is helping me do uh, in preparation for this year. So I'm really excited to for some of the stuff that I have planned and I hope to film a bunch of it so you guys can enjoy at the same time. Uh, really appreciate the views and I hope you guys watch the next video and videos to come. See you guys on the next one. Thanks a bunch. Later.